Welcome to the channel. If you've ever used GIMP before, you'll know that it is an amazing piece of software. So I'm going to show you how to merge two images on the program. So let's get into it. So we're going to go up to the top left hand side, click on file. And here we can click on open. And this will allow us to access our device and choose the images that we would like to merge. So I'm going to select this one over here and then I'm going to hold in control and I'm going to select the next one. All right. We're going to go and click on open. This will now open the two images. If this does come up, you can either convert the built-in srgb color profile but i'm going to just keep it as is and what we're going to do is as you see this image here i'm going to go to the top left hand side and there's two tabs open i'm going to take this image okay and i'm going to lay it on the other one and it doesn't matter which way you do this so all you need to do is click on and you would now just drag it and open that up and drag it to the bottom right hand side over here so now you can see that there are two images within this one layer so what we're going to do now is when we have those two images in one layer you are going to right click on the first image once you've right clicked there you'll get a menu and you'll look for add layer mask from here the layer mask we can just leave these settings as is and we can tap on add now you can see that it has added a, another layer onto this image. Make sure that you have selected the extra layer, which is a white background. And we're going to go over to the left hand side and right at the top, you'll see all your tools. Now you should look for the gradient tool. And if this gradient tool is not here, you can go up to the menu at the top, look for tools, open that up and go to paint tools. And here you will find gradient. You can just click on that and it will add it into these tools here. Now, once you've selected this gradient, as you hold your cursor over the image, you'll be able to click down and drag a line as to where you want this gradient to be. So you can move it up and down, extend it, start the line anywhere, end the line anywhere. And this is what the process looks like. You can now further edit the gradient style by going up to the top right hand side in this little window you'll see the x and y as well as color and background and once you're done you can go to file on the top left look for save as and you can now save this to your device if this was a helpful guide drop us a like and go and create people peace out